So I turned on my camera and the sun immediately was like shining right in my face. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this is why I don't usually do lives in the morning. Um, but it looks like it's gone behind a cloud, so it won't be like a weird sun spot on my face. So we'll see. It might come back and I apologize for that, but you're not going to see my face for very long. So that's good. Um, okay. We're going to continue our series of the 4321 One Sheet Wonders, which just means you get all those cards out of one piece of designer series paper. Also, Sophie is still sleeping, <laughs> so we may have less interruptions today. Anyway, um, today I'm going to share, um, I'm going to give away a prize for anyone that shares this video. So you can share it on Facebook. You can, um, tag me on Instagram, you can send it in a private message, you can do whatever you want, share the video, and then from the shares that I can see, I'm going to choose a winner to receive a fun product that I'm going to show you. It's, it's a fun one because you can't buy it, <laughs> So, but it's current, so it's weird, but um, so I'm going to share that. So, okay. So yesterday we made four cards out of one piece of paper. Today we're going to make three. So let's get started. So yesterday we made this card and you can make four of these out of one six by six piece of designer series paper. So this one's perfume. Those are the purses. There's just so many cute papers in this. It's not dressed to impress, it's best dressed. Yeah, the best dressed designer series paper. Today, we're going to make two different cards um, and you're going to cut the paper into three pieces so you can make three different cards. Okay, one quick thing. If you want a free make and take packet because you're bored out of your mind at home, I'm gonna send three different cards from, to, from this week's series. I'm gonna send all three cards if you place an order I'm using this hostess code. Now when you go to stampinup.com, you'll just add the things to your um, shopping cart and then make sure, I'm going to at the bottom when you're ready to check out, make sure to put that hostess code in right there. Oh, so much free stuff, I want it. Okay, Quinette, share my video. Share it lots of times and then you'll have lots of entries into the prize drawing. So enter your hostess code there at checkout and then I'll know that you want the make and take packet from this week, so I'll send that to you. Okay, so let's get started. For anyone that's wondering, the stamp set is only $18. And then um, if you get it as a bundle, it's $47.50 for both. And then the other dies that I'm going to use are $32. These ones are on back order, but I believe you can still add them to your cart. So there's that. Okay, you can't buy the mini trimmer. You gotta get the starter kit to get that. Okay, so today's card, we're gonna make three out of one sheet of paper. So you're going to take your paper and your cute mini trimmer, and you're gonna cut it at three inches. And this is one of the pieces that comes in the free paper pack that you get when you get the starter kit. Um, the perfumes are not. I think I just cut those out of my regular um, the paper itself comes six by six anyway, so I think I pulled it out of a regular pack. So you're going to cut it in half, three inches, and then you're going to save one for a card, and then this other one we're going to cut that in half, so three inches again. And this will make two cards. Now, you could take this and make the same cards that we made yesterday if you want to just do a quick and easy stamp a whole stack of cards, but today we're going to make a cute gift card holder. So untie that. Here's the gift card holder. And then you just slide in your gift card. So since we can't go shopping right now, I mean, we can still shop online. Some places will still, still send you things. Others, you may have to wait a while, but um, you can still shop online. So Stampin' Up! still open. So you can still 24 seven shop online and then you have a lot of things to do while you're stuck at home. So, and please stay home. Let's end this coronavirus. We don't want to stay home forever, just for now <laughs> until it's done. Okay. Oh, I wanted to show you as well um, from the layout that we made yesterday. I added a different die cut from that same Stitch So Sweetly dies and just changed it up a little and added a little ribbon there. This one I'm sending to a team member. We're doing a, a card shower in our team. So the team's really fun. You definitely want to join because 
it's just so much fun. Okay, so we're gonna start off, um, we're gonna use one of these. Now you could use that side, but today I'm. it's gonna be all about shoes. So we're gonna use this side. So it's mint macaron with the white shoes. I think it's so cute. Um, so here's the pieces I'm gonna, that's all the cutting we need to do. So I'm gonna set that aside and let's see. It's card two. Okay, so I have a purple posy base. Raise your hand if you love this color and are so sad that you can't get the ink. <laughs> it's so sad. I actually ordered one um, with a pre-order. Oh, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing here in just a second. So I ordered one from the pre-order and it works fine. Like I'm gonna use it today and you'll see. Um, but then when Stampin' Up! reformulated the ink, they sent me another one. So that's today's prize for anyone that shares the video. Um, you'll be entered into a drawing. You're going to get a free Purple Posy ink pad that these are like limited supply because they stopped selling them because the ink, um, they said it's really bubbly and mine works fine. The one I'm going to give as a prize is wrapped and it's the newer formula. So I guess it's even better than mine, but I'm going to send it to you. You try it out and tell me what you think. So if you want that Purple Posy ink pad, share the video. Okay. Um, all right. So the card base, it's the regular half a sheet of cardstock. So cut it at four and a quarter, and then you're going to score it at five and a half. You're also going to score it at nine. So when you lay it on your scoring tool, um, you're going to also score it at nine inches. That's going to make the little flap for the gift card. Okay. So um, to make it just a little bit easier to grab the gift card, I'm using my super old one inch circle punch and I'm just going to put a little notch in there. So, okay, so that's the card base. So it's a little bit, it's like one score line and one punch more than a regular card base. So it's not going to take that much longer. Oh, good. Okay, so we're going to start, um, we're going to just decorate this side. So the side that's scored with the little notch out. We're gonna take the Purple Posy ink pad and we're going to add from the Dress to Impress stamp set, we're gonna add the flowers. So I'm gonna use the two flowers. You can mix them up and add both. You can even use the dots. You could use all different, whatever you choose. You can make it your own, which is a great thing about making cards is that you can totally personalize it. So we're just going to add this. The, um, the border is going to show. It's going to be covered up in the middle. So turn it around. We definitely want to get that border. So when I'm stamping, I can feel it's like a little bit juicy, but it's still like you can see it still stamps fine. So. Who wants the free ink pad? <laughs> I'm gonna stamp this one off because we're gonna, this is gonna show on the inside, so we wanna just add a little bit of detail there. And feel free to mix up the stamps. Um, you can stamp in the middle there, but it's gonna get covered, so it doesn't really matter. And this one has a leaf, so I'm just kind of turning it so it doesn't look like it's just uniform dot 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 stamped. So I'm just turning it. Let's see that way. There we go. Okay. So there's that. And then clean that off with your chamois. Look how dirty mine is. <laughs> it still does its job, but I, I find that I always like go on the edges. It doesn't make it dirty. The the only color that stains it is the memento tuxedo black. All the other colors, it washes right out. You just throw it in the washing machine. Washing. <laughs> Throw it in the washing machine. Okay, so there's, I'm going to use this, I'm going to leave it open for a second. So that's the front. Um, since I'm stamping, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside. And it's just a four by five and a quarter sheet of Whisper White. And I'm going to stamp the shoe image since our theme is shoes. Now this part, you want to leave a room, you want to leave room for a message. So you're just going to stamp the shoes on the edge over here or you know a little bit and then clean that off because oh I hear Sophie she's gonna come join us 
So um, just a little bit. We're going to add a couple different colors. So the colors that I'm using come from the designer series paper, but you can customize it to whatever you want or whatever you have on hand. So, okay, because there's, um, because the little paper piece is mint macaron, I'm going to add some mint macaron. You could even add some flowers on there. Um, whatever. However you want to personalize it. Make it one of a kind. And then, okay, so lovely lipstick and pretty peacock. These ones are darker colors, especially the lovely lipstick. So what I'm going to do is stamp in Versamark first, just to keep my um, stamp kind of clean. Kind of clean is the keyword. <laughs> so it's not as bad with the blues, but I noticed the pinks. This one's just going to get a little, doot, maybe a little toe over here. There's that. Um, the pinks and purples are the colors that stain the stamps the most. They still work fine, but I just like them clean, so I use that verse mark. So make sure it's washed, you know, on the chamois so that you don't add a shoe to your versa mark. Okay, and then we're gonna go here and I don't know, maybe a little toe up here or a heel. We're gonna do a heel. Just a little, tiny little color there. That was like almost a Bob Ross thing. Instead of saying happy little trees, tiny little color. <laughs> Okay, so that's the stamping that we're gonna do. Oh, before we put away our ink pads, um, you're going to stamp, I'm gonna give you a piece of, it's not gonna be cut like this. <laughs> I'm gonna send in your make and take packets, I'm gonna send you some Whisper White for all the different pieces that you're gonna be stamping um, in the make and take packet. So on the sample that I made that I showed you at first, this one is focusing on lovely lipstick. So I stamped the shoe in lovely lipstick and then I die cut it and then I colored it with the wink of Stella. I'm not sure you can see those sparkles, but it is sparkly. So um, you're going to stamp the shoe and then die cut it. I've already done that just to make it faster since we have two cards that we're going to make today. Um, so I did it in pretty peacock. So that's all the stamping we're going to do. You can actually even go ahead and adhere this to your card base. So we stamped the front. We're going to open that up <laughs> and not put it upside down and put that layer in here. Purple Posy is a lighter color, but it just finishes. Oh, that one's a little crooked. That's okay. It just finishes the card off a little bit to have this extra layer. So there's that. Now you're going to take the two edges of this little um, flap and you're going to put adhesive on the edges. You can really use any adhesive. It doesn't have to be that strong because you're gonna send it in an envelope anyway. Um, but just to keep it closed to put that gift card in there. So the last one I made had a $100 gift card. <laughs> this one has 50, but guess what? They're already used, <laughs> so, so sorry. Cornell, I'll still send it to you, but it's already used. So. so you're gonna slide the gift card in there and you can even just like put in just a little bit so that it sticks out so that they see it right when they open it. So there's that. Now the, where'd my shoe go? The front of it is where we're going to put the sentiment. And of course we're going to do, oh, I did have one more thing to stamp. Um, we're going to do the saying in that stamp set that says, life is short, buy the shoes. <laughs> yes, buy the shoes. Order those shoes. And they'll get delivered. Oh, I almost, I was saying shoes, and so I almost stamped the actual shoe. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so this piece, this is a die cut piece from Stitch So Sweetly Dies. I am going to include that already die cut in your make and take packet. Or you can buy the dies. They're really good. They're some of those like versatile ones that you'll use for everything. I'm just going to center it as much as I can without sticking my head in the video. Okay, got a little bit smeared, but 
I mean, I could turn it over. Eh, let's try it. It's like really smeared. So we're going to turn it over. There's two sides to every cardstock. Not push as hard that time. Oh, much better. Okay. Now we're done with the ink for this card. Okay. So what you're going to do is take your three by three piece and you're going to layer that onto whatever color you want to. So this one today, I'm gonna to do Pretty Peacock just to show you the difference between Lovely Lipstick and Pretty Peacock. I'm pretty sure I'm already, I'm <laughs> gonna like the Lovely Lipstick the best because of the ribbon that I'm gonna add. Okay, this one, I'm going to pop this, okay. I'm gonna adhere this right over my mistake. It's not a mistake, it was just my uh, experiment, my rough draft. So I'm going to put that right in the middle and then I'm going to pop the shoe up on a dimensional. Oop, I got a couple. That's okay. This one really just needs one. Can't believe I said that, but really. Actually, I think I used mini dimensionals on the other one. One on the top and one on the bottom. So this one's blue. This one's like Pretty peacock. So it looks kind of plain. Don't worry, we're going to fix it. Now, what you're going to do is put a dimensional in each corner. Like this. And then you're going to put that right on your card front. And the reason why I'm doing it on dimensionals and not um, sticking it down and why I'm not putting one in the middle is because I'm going to add some ribbon. So there's that. Let's just finish this up before we add the ribbon though. So you're going to take your Wink of Stella and I know you can't see this very well on Facebook, but um, it adds sparkle. In fact, I can't even see it very well. Okay, and if you add it right when you stamp, then it's going to pull some of that color from your ink into it, and so it kind of blends it in a little. That's fine if you, I mean, it looks kind of cool on the card, but you'll just have that color on your Wink of Stella. Oh, see, that's a little bit wet still. I mean, it just pulled it. It's not wet. I stamped it last night. See the heel? But if that happens, then you just wipe it off a little bit, so... It's not a big deal. So we added a little sparkle. You could even add sparkle to the shoes on the inside or the flowers. Add it everywhere if you want. That's one great thing about the Wink of Stella. And then we're going to add um, a little bit more bling. So I'm using the, what is it? Petal Pink Rhinestones. And I'm gonna add some bling to that shoe. Whoops. There we go. And then add a couple more over here. There we go. Eh, let me move that over. It's always kind of tricky to add the rhinestones, but what you want to do is kind of make a triangle, but make it so that none of them are like exactly lined up. So see how it's slightly off. So there's that. Okay, to add a little bit more color, um, for this one I could use some Pretty Peacock ribbon or you can use whatever ribbon. I happen to have some extra of this um, retired, is it All My Love? I think it's All My Love. Um, it was a bundle of two different colors. I think it was Petal Pink and Lovely Lipstick, but I really loved this ribbon. So I have enough. I'll send it in your make and take packets so that you can use this. Gonna slide that through, and then you're just gonna tie a bow over here. So, um, I'm gonna tie it first and then cut it, just so that I don't. Well, am I? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think I am gonna cut some. Just make sure it's long enough. Go a little bit longer, just to make sure. Okay. If I do happen to run out of this with all the make and take packets that I'm going to make, don't worry, I will send you something just as beautiful. <laughs> okay. 
but I'm pretty sure I'll have enough that each of you will get the this ribbon. Okay, I cut it a little bit small, but that's okay. You can still get a bow. Oh, this one's really small. I'll cut more than that. <laughs> but this one that I used here, that ribbon would look really cute on it too. And you can color it with your blends so that it's any color. So that's another option. So, okay, there's our gift card. Isn't it cute? So, what do you think? Do you like the gift card? Um, I was going to stamp that one in lovely lipstick, I just remembered, but it doesn't matter. It's one of a kind. So there's that one. Okay, for the second card, this one is a super quick and easy, um, like five minutes or less card. So this is the layout that we're going to use. So that is once when you cut your paper to begin with, that's the first piece that you cut. So it's, this is what we're going to do. So. Luckily, it's all double-sided, so we get lots of options. Okay, so in your make-and-take packet, you're going to get a mint macaron card base. I did change it up because I realized that I used two cards had the purple posy, and I was like, eh, we need a little bit more variety. So this one will have the mint macaron card base, and then a lovely lipstick layer that is um, three and a half by five and a half. And actually, when you cut your paper, you're going to have just half an inch left, so just trim that half an inch off the end. So, Except for in your make and take packet, it'll be cut to exactly what you need. So you're just going to layer these up. Just ignore what I did on the other side. Just pretend that there's no shoes there. Ignore that. Okay. <laughs> and then you're going to put that right in the middle. Hold on. I'm going to do it this way. Just because it was a scrap and it's scored, I'm going to put it down here. <laughs> See, you can always salvage pieces that you think are destroyed. No, they're not destroyed. You can salvage them. Okay, and then this, I'm going to stamp. Hello, fabulous. I love that saying from this stamp set. Um, so hello, fabulous. On one of those stitched so sweetly dies. They seriously work for everything. That's a little bit off, but it's okay. And then um, to finish that off, give it just a little bit more, you know, like a finishing detail. We're going to use that purple posy. So if you're the winner of the drawing, you're going to get this ink pad. If you don't have purple posy, just use something else. Petal pink, mint macaron, any of the other colors that come out of the designer series paper. And if you're like, I don't know what colors are in there, don't forget, go to my blog and get the, um, the free printout. I hung it back up on my cupboard door so it's not here okay so that's what it does it gets bubbly but it still works fine so um you can't buy it though they don't that's the great thing about stampin up is that they only sell quality products if there's a problem with something they discontinue it so okay so there's my purple posy and that's the little um swish that matches up with the lipstick but i just used it to highlight my sentiment and then it'll dry a little bit lighter and not bubbly <laughs> so it'll look like that so then what we're gonna do is pop both of these labels up on dimensionals just need to leave these out um, I think I did both of them on yeah both of them on dimensionals just to give it you know it's like every little detail you can add just finishes it off that much better Okay, make sure it's not upside down. And we're just gonna put that here. And then because that's still wet, I'm just gonna put the dimensionals on here. Like that. Hopefully that's not too off-centered. Oh, I think it's dry, it's fine. And then pop that on like that. Yeah, it's fine. So there's our second card. So see how quick that one was? Oh, hi, Denise. Um, so that was a quick one that you can stamp a whole stack of. If you want to send out a bunch of cards to just like boost morale of your family and friends, this is a great one to do. So both this one and the one we did yesterday, those are quick and easy. If somebody needs an extra little something, like it's their birthday and they're not able to go out and celebrate, that's where the gift card, which takes just a little bit more effort, 
that's where that one comes in. So, all right. So if you have any questions about the make and take packets or the starter kit to get the free mini trimmer and paper and stamp set, <laughs> just let me know. And then don't forget to share the video to be entered into a drawing to get that purple posy ink pad. Okay. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you have some fun today while you're cooped up in your house. Hope you have some fun crafting. Um, don't craft alone. Invite your friends and even your family to come craft with you. I know Sophie's going to come craft with me a lot today. We're going to make a whole stack of cards. Everybody's getting a card. I'm like Oprah. <laughs> you get a card and you get a card. Everybody gets a card. <laughs> okay. Have a good day. Enjoy it. Bye.